What's going on, folks? Bill, Pure Cajun Outdoors. And uh, we almost through December. So, you know what that means? We got another year in the books. I hope everyone is having a great holiday season. And uh, if y'all traveling, I hope y'all are having safe travels. I want to make a video that, that we're going to do right now. It's going to basically be a year in review uh, from 2021. Uh, just, to, just to recap, basically, the fun that we had, me, my dad, uh, Several other people who've come in the video is my brother, my partner. I, I mean, it's, it's we've had a good bit of people on the channel. So some of y'all may know last year, not just October, but prior, I uh, went fishing with uh, Zach from Catch 'Em All Fishing. Some of y'all, that's how y'all found my channel in the beginning. But we went out and we caught some bull sharks in the Chapala River and the basin. A lot of people in the comments, man, he needs his own channel. Uh, man, you know, we're running the mill stuff. Well, needless to say, I, I did have a channel at that time. I might have had two videos on it. Wasn't posting a whole lot. But uh, seeing that kind of got me like excited to say, okay, maybe people do want to see my channel. I think I had three subscribers at that time. <laughs> I started posting more. I had actually already recorded some things at that time. And uh, I, did, I had never posted them really on the channel. I didn't, didn't know much about the YouTube algorithm and keep things posted on a constant basis, et cetera, et cetera. As time went on, I learned. So some of y'all found my channel originally from that. So over this past year, I gotta say, I'm surprised. I would have never thought uh, almost a year to date around October, November area, somewhere around that time, uh, we crossed over a thousand subscribers. I think now we're at almost 1700 subscribers or so in this past year. And I gotta say that blows us away. Never expected it, but I'm happy, I'm thankful for all of y'all who find this content uh, entertaining to watch it, whether or not you're learning something, you're just watching it to get a laugh out of it. Just for whatever reason, I'd like to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart for coming to our channel, supporting us when you do. You know, we try to post, you know, as time went on, I got into the habit of once a week, but it was any day of the week. And then there were some times I missed, but Thanks to y'all, I'm still going strong. We still posting, it's made me want to do more content. And uh, I'm pretty much on schedule, not every Monday. If y'all y'all are subscribed, y'all know. So with that being said, once again, thank y'all for subscribing, tuning in, enjoying the content. Drop some comments if y'all have any ideas of what y'all might want to see in the future. 2022 is about to roll around and uh, Man, we didn't even do most of the stuff we normally would do during the year. We didn't even frog this past year, which is crazy because our boat was in the shop for quite a while. And uh, when it did come out, we were shark fishing, guard fishing, things like that. So, so once again, thanks to everyone who've been subscribed, who share my content, who comment on my content. I hope 2022 is a great year for y'all. I hope it's a great year for us and we get to continue to bring content for y'all to watch. And uh, Pure Cajun Outdoors, man, on any other social media, whether or not it's Facebook, Instagram, Pure Cajun Outdoors. If you need to send us an email about anything to talk, questions, purecajunoutdoors at gmail.com. Uh, I do reply in the comments section on, on pretty much anything. I do try to, to respond back. People who have so many messages can attest to that. Catch y'all in 2022, man. Deer season is about to crank up. We got a dog season opening up this weekend so i'm gonna i'm gonna try to still post weekly content for y'all uh but this season gets a little tricky with that so i'm i will be recording higher but i wasn't just collecting footage and trying to get it ready that way as soon as i get a break i can post it for y'all so y'all just bear with me once again pure cage and outdoors thanks for all my subscribers i hope this channel can continue to grow to whatever it is and we'll see and bring y'all along for the ride Catch y'all on the next one.
pulling set. Oh yeah, fish on. Oh, no. Fish on. What we got? What we got? <laughs> He's working them, y'all. Been trying to put them on a big fish now for almost a year. I see that line. I see the head shakes. Nice blue, boy. Nice blue. Hold on. What you thought about that, dude? Hell yeah. <laughs> We've been trying to get him a nice big blue cat for a year now. Finally got him out here with some good bait. We got us a nice fish. All right, guys. Here we go. Nick James with his personal best blue cat. How was it, man? Oh, amazing. Amazing. Was it everything you've been waiting for? Everything and more. <laughs> I think we got a fish on. I feel them. Good eating size, though. Well, about 10 pounds. Nice little 10 pound fish. Maybe 12. Blue cat, pretty. Fat full from the winter time eating. And still got my bait back. Doesn't get much better than that. All right, let's see. We got something pulling on it right here. About to see if we're going to set a hook on him. Act like he want to get it. Oh. Hey, hey. All right, him. Ooh. Big him, boy. Ooh, that arm snag. Yeah, Give me that again. gaff, Fluky. You need a gaff? Yeah, it's right down that bend. This feels like a nice fish. Oh, gar fish. This is a nice fish. I'm snagged. Maybe not. I'm trying to hook you down. I think I'm snagged. But I, there's definitely still a fish on there. If you take it out. He's still he's a big boy there, bro. Oh, he's a big fish. I just don't know what he's got me under that he can't pull himself out from. Goddamn thought line. So what I got going on right here, got a snag. But I feel like what I feel like is a, a pretty big fish on it. I got tired of fighting with them, so what it is, you can see the line just moving a little bit right now. I loosen my drag up. I'm going to see if he will pull himself out from whatever he is under. That's about the only thing I could hope for at this point in time. Because it's, it's a pretty good snag, whatever he's under. So he, he's pulling a little string here and there. He's kind of tired, been fighting with him. Every now and then he'll get a good burst. And he'll take some string. But... Not quite sure what my options is at this point. But to see if he'll pull himself out from whatever it is my slime is under. I'll check back. 20 minutes. Oh, look at you. Oh. Ah. Oh. Got him. Hey, Fluky. Yeah, you're right. Dang. <laughs> oh, you gotta wait on him, bro. You need it. Saying, you know all right folks we got him up on the dock after a 20 something minute wait i don't know what he's gonna weigh but we about to check him out pick up reel down pick up with your pole reel your slack down there you go now pick up reel down pick up reel down there you go Come on, baby girl, watch me. She's coming on this side. Swap over on this side. I got your back. Come on. Let's see what you got. What you got here, little baby? We got my daughter out here. You got it? We're going to see what she got. Garfish. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Hold on, hold on. Let him calm down. We're shooting him. Nice garfish. 
Little baby. Bye. Pick him up, pick him up. All right, all right. Oh, Pure Cajun outdoors. We even got the kids out here catching them. That's how we do it. Having fun on the water. Here we go. That's Look, a catfish. That's a catfish. Hold this for him, Tom. Oh, it's just, it's just easy. Keep it tight, Rig. Don't let him go back to the pot. Don't let him go. Easy. Bring him in easy. Bring him in easy. Easy, 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 easy. easy. Hold on, right here. Oh, buddy. Golly, buddy. Woo! The <laughs> Told you that was a freaking nibble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that wasn't a nibble. That's you see it in the bite. Buddy. That's how it happens, buddy. Oh. <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> That's what you wanted to see? All right, hold this. What's going on, folks? Bill, Pure Cajun Outdoors out here on the lake. My brother, Al, came in from Seattle. Never caught a catfish. We put him, well, never, not, never caught a big catfish. Put him out here, been in the water about 10, 15 minutes, I guess, and guess what? He got his personal best for sure. Don't know how big it is, 30, 30 something pounds. About to pick this thing up and let y'all see him. He's freaking out. All right, folks, there he is. Personal best catfish, personal best fish, period. Yeah. Definitely his biggest. What you think about that, dude? Dude, it's awesome. It's How was fight. the fight? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Did he nibble on it or what? Not at all. He just took off. <laughs> all right, but we got a shark right here running with this line. They got people in the houseboat swimming right on the other side of this point. So if y'all hear music, that's probably what it is. Let's see if he's going to get the hook set. No. He got him. He's swimming he's quick. This thing is fast. Oh, he's under the boat. He still got, oh, he's pulling, he's pulling. Oh, I got two. Uh, I think that's just the boat. He's coming out. Or the line's just going back out. Oh, look, he's right here. He just came up right here. I don't know where he's at. Probably on my ankle. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that was huge. All right, folks, we got a bull shark right here, almost five foot long, maybe longer. Right here on this side, you might be able to see the boat over there. People swimming in the water, bull sharks on this side. Oh yeah, so we have for people right there. Some rice in there, boy. Real golly. There we go. Nice one too. Come on, baby. Right in the middle. Huh? Right in the middle. There y'all go, folks. We're still on them. All right, YouTube, check it out. This is it. This is what we'd like to get a couple. We got a shark running right here.
Let's go. Fish on. Shot. Like one, no? But right now, it's not really moving. Oh, he's going out. I guess you pick mine up. Uh, you might want to. And there we go. I don't see how he ain't cut that yet, boy. Oh, it's on. We got action. Don't know what it is. Catfish? I don't know, boy. It came to the water quick. Shot? No, I don't think so. Looks ah. like a catfish. He's already got me. Oh, I don't know what it is, but it's big. We got something nice on here, folks. Shark. Another shark. A big one. That's a nice one, too, dude. Live bluegill. What? Came further up river to try to avoid these things, and guess what? Sharks again. Figured that's what it was. Set it. Set, 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 set. Sideways. What you doing? She dropped it. Hold on. I yeah, he's back. He's back on he's it. Got it on it again. Go no, now. There you oh, go. Yeah. You got him. He's oh, going. Yeah. yeah, he's on. <laughs> no, he left. He left. Ah. What you do about that right now? Don't let him get in the motor. I got to switch sides, huh? Jack, look at that. Sit down right here, Jack. Give me that gap. South Louisiana swamp sharks. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Oh. He's about oh, wore out now. Look at that. Why you shot? Nice one right here, buddy. Uh-uh, exactly, boy. Oh, nice one, too, boy. Just slab. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Nice one. Nice one, too, boy. That old popsicle. Mm -hmm. Sit on that old popsicle. There we go. That's what we after, folks. You bring him in there. Come right here. Or if you want to walk, he's coming in. He's all yours. Yes. Let me get him in there. Folks, you need to know. South Louisiana. South Louisiana, baby. That's what we out here for. White soccer lay. I didn't cut that. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one there, boy. You net him, see, let you tell me, net that big sucker. Look at that. <laughs> that's a 
That's pretty, boy, huh? Oh, yeah. That ain't good eating, huh? Oh, that's some of the best. Boy, look at that, how pretty. Mmm. We got a big fish on, folks. I don't know if he's a big fish, but he definitely bowled this thing over. Real nice fish. Get up out of there. Fish. I'll take him for the first one of the day. Also, a little bit different hook than I'm used to using. I'm trying out some Nocturnal Nation pig stickers, 10 alt. Y'all can see right there. Looks like a pretty good. All right, folks, we got our grease hot. We got our fillets battered. You want to kind of shake them off before you drop them in. That way you don't put all that batter up in your grease and get your grease all dirty too soon. But that's what'll burn in your grease. Turn your grease all nasty. All right, we got the first batch done. They're good, golden brown. Just how we want them. We're going to scoop them out. You want to either put them on some paper towels, some paper bags, whatever you have. Give it something for that grease to drain. All right, folks, here we have it. Beautiful plat of some golden brown filet. Does it get much better than that, man? Talk about fresh. Take these little pieces like this. They break off real good. Nice flaky white meat on the inside. Awesome fish to fry up. Cooks fast, cooks even. Can't go wrong. I'm gonna take this lid off, folks. Oh, yeah. Man, look at this. Can't pop that over there? Uh-uh. Old front shoulder right there, huh? Let's take this old front shoulder out right here and see what's happening with it. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> what you think, people? Pull the whole front shoulder clean off. Huh? 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 That's what you call tender. You don't put a meat Let's take the back in leg it. out one time. <laughs> Look at this, people. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know about you. That's what we call pulled pork down here in the south. Yeah. There he is. There he is. Oh, he feels like a real good fish, to be honest with you. Better than what I might have thought at first. Oh, yeah. Go. Well, it's too bad, huh? Uh-uh. Looks like you're going to play this. Nice blue, Nocturnal Nation, pig stickers. When they bite, these hooks bite back. Know what I mean? So here we go. That's what it's all about. We'll get them back in the water. We got some photos. Catch y'all on the next one. Stay tuned. We'll get some poles back. Got bait. Cut a gizzard shad body section. Didn't take long. Once I got that in the water, it was on. Catch y'all on the next one. Hey, grab my phone. It's already on camera. Turn it sideways. Oh, It's nice. It looks like a yellow. The way he's acting. Oh, look at here, boy. Blue cat. 
Oh, a real dark yellow. Ooh. A big blue. We ain't got no neck. Gap or gap. Oh, I mean a big one too. Let's go together so we don't break your poles. You ready? We gotta go. <laughs> Give yourself some slack for your break your rod tip. I will, I'm trying to. Alright. Might have a fish coming on here, folks. Let's see. I think he's on there. Oh yeah. We got a fish on. To the top. Got us a nice blue over here in the Chafalaya River. Uh, some cut bluegill, put them down. Been out here for a while with Sakale fishing, decided to try to catch some catfish, and here we go. One down, we'll see if we can't catch a couple fish. Bye. I think we got a fish on here, people. Let's see. Oh yeah, we got a fish on. Ah! This feels like a good fish. Flathead. All right, folks. Got us a nice flathead. We're gonna get us a weight on him now that I got him unhooked. Nocturnal Nation pig stickers 10 out. This weather is moving in, but we got us a nice one. 